Why is this happening? On one hand, we can say the environment, because in all of these cases, these young people, surrounded by non-Muslim Canadians, who have been raised to doubt faith, secular education, which studies religions in the world religions classes as examples of fables and myths. They're all around the world. People get caught up in these fables and myths. So when they find amongst them someone who claims to be a believer, then they focus on that person. And they fire all kinds of questions at them. And of course, we haven't prepared our young people to deal with this. We haven't realized its importance, the seriousness. That these issues that are raised, our children should be firmly grounded in how to deal with these issues. We cannot afford to neglect this. We as parents need to have the answers. As a masjid, we need to have programs where we are equipping the youth with the necessary responses how to tackle these shubuhat, these doubts which will be raised in the minds of the children. We cannot afford to treat this lightly because the numbers are increasing. When I was here, I spent almost a year here back in 2012, not by choice, by Allah's Qadr and the Canadian government's will. I met a number of cases when I was here then. A number of families brought their young children, young adults, to me with these kinds of ideas, doubts. Most of them were on the way. I did meet a couple who had become disbelievers, but the majority were just on the way. They were facing the doubts. They didn't know how to handle them, and I spoke with them. But the challenge remains. The challenge remains. And if we don't take constructive steps to deal with this, it is going to become an avalanche, a tsunami that is going to hit our community in such a way that we will have a very difficult time standing. It will knock us over. 